Okay, using number lines to solve multiplication problems. Multiplication is figuring out how many groups of equal amounts you have. So for example, uh, it might be 3 times 3 or 4 times 4, and you know that if that's the case, that you've got 4 groups and there's 4 pieces in each group. So for example, here's another one. 4 times 5 is 4 groups of 5 pieces. The first factor, which is the 4, it tells you how many groups you have. And the second factor tells you how many pieces are in each group. So you can see here again, 4 times 5 is 4 groups of 5 pieces. Now, what we want to do is we want to come up with a strategy, and we're going to use the strategy of using a number line. So I have a number line here, and you can see that I have some red arrows. And what those red arrows tell me, they tell me a couple of different things. First, they tell me how many groups I have, and then they tell me how many pieces are in each group. So if we look at this particular number line, the first thing we want to do is we want to count how many groups or how many jumps. So we always start on the zero right here, and we're going to trace the arrow just like it is here. I'm going to trace it in orange. That's one jump two jumps, three jumps. So our first factor that we're going to write is a three, because there's three, one, two, three. All right, if it makes it easier, you can always number them like this, one, two, three, whatever makes it easier for you to solve. So we have three jumps, and then we need to count how many pieces are in each jump. So count with me. We've got one, two, three, four. We stop there, so let's see if they're all equal. One, two, three, four. We stopped on the eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four. We stopped on the twelve. There are four in each group. So again, since multiplication is how many groups and how many pieces are in each group, three times four equals twelve. So our answer here, because you can see where we ended, was twelve. Three times four equals twelve. Let's try another one. Okay, this time, remember, we're going to count the groups. So we have one... 2, so our first factor is 2, and we're going to count how many pieces are in each group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we stop there, okay, so 7 in the first group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 in the second group, so we're going to put a 7 as our second factor, and we ended on the 14, so 2 times 7 is 14. Now sometimes you might be given the multiplication problem and you're not sure how to solve it. And so you can use the number line to help you figure out what the product is. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. Remember, the first number that we see, the first factor, is how many jumps, how many groups we're going to have. The second one tells us how many are in each jump. So in this particular problem, 4 times 2, we're going to jump 4 times. And we're going to jump 2 each time. So here we go. Let's do this in red. Here's one, two, three, four. All right, let's count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we did four jumps. Four times two is eight. Our answer to four times two is eight. Nicely done, nicely done. Okay, here's a little another one. Remember the first factor? First factor tells us how many jumps we're going to do, so this time we're going to do five jumps. The second factor tells us how many pieces are in each one, and where we stop jumping is going to be the product. It's going to be the answer. So five jumps, start at zero, jump to the three, one, two, 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 three. Did I jump five times? One, two, see, one, two, three, four, five. I jumped five times. One, two, three in each group, and I stopped on, looks like 15 was my target, so five times three is 15. So that is how you can use a number line to help you solve a multiplication problem. Just remember that the first factor, the first number in the problem, is how many groups or how many jumps you're going to make. The second factor is going to be how many pieces are in each one of those jumps.